Hi, welcome back. A number of people have written to ask whether or not protective goggles are necessary when using the Orion Micro Welder. Um, I know that with industrial welding, you wear a shield that's darkened because there is flying debris. And if any of you have seen that welding, it does terrible damage to your eyes. When I was a kid and my father was welding something, I was intrigued and I, I stood there looking at the sparks and my dad didn't, didn't realize I was standing there. Anyway, for a number of minutes and I was watching, that night my eyes were burning. Um, so I learned not never to do that again because I couldn't sleep all night. There's damage, especially it's bright light and the UV in it um, will damage your eyes. So the question is, with a small spark compared to that, is, there, is it necessary? So you, there are a number of things I want to cover about protective um, lenses. With welding, like an I-beam or some raw, um, iron, sometimes metal flies. With micro welding and jump rings for your jewelry, I never ever had that happen. However, that said, it is always, and I wear glasses normally, so um, I'm not that worried about flying objects. However, uh, the bright light, the spark, sometimes I could fire it and there is no flash, no bright flash, but sometimes there is a bright flash. And it's okay once in a while, but if you are doing this day in and day out, welding a number of bracelets or other pieces, I think it's going to be rather hazardous. Um, there is the clear safety glasses, but it doesn't protect you from the bright flash. You can purchase the darkened goggles, uh, safety goggles, and those are good, but I've had a number of complaints that it's so dark, it's hard to see through them, and whether or not it's possible just to do without. The Orion Micro Welder comes with darkened um, a screen, a shield, and it looks like this. When you turn it on, there's a bright light so you can see through the shield and as soon as you're about to weld something um, and you touch on it, it gives you a click to warn you that it's about to flash and the screen goes dark to protect you from very bright light. Um, now, while this is good for bracelets, it's harder for things like anklets or uh, waist chains, other parts that you cannot fit through and into, into this section here. Um, so it becomes, it, it's limiting. And while filming, I've learned to, uh, when I hear the click, close my eyes and then fire. So here we go. Turns on, there's light underneath and it's darkened and you see through this. Let's press play. And then when you are about to fire, there's a click. There you go. The problem with that is that um, in doing so, you sometimes reflexively, your hand moves either when you close your eyes or you hear the click. And that's why and sometimes in the filming, I, my hands move and I have to fire twice. It, doesn't, it also help, doesn't help that I have, I need bifocals really. So sometimes I'm welding blind for the sake of filming. And I wanna say that it would be best 
to wear the darkest sunglasses you have if you're not going to use the shield because you're welding an anklet. And then have um, a bright light source over it so that you can actually see you just you just need enough to see where the seam is so that you can touch the electrode right onto the seam of the jump ring say and as far as your the customers are concerned it's actually best if they didn't look um, for a few reasons I know they're curious and you can have their friend film the process and put it on social media but it would be best um, not to look at the direct weld in case there's a bright flash um, please feel free to let me know what your thoughts are and what has worked for you and comment below I am a wholesaler of premium quality solid gold gold genuine gold filled and sterling silver chains and components for permanent bracelets and welding I also have some information about the Orion micro welder in the link below and uh, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for supporting me.